Hey guys, this is Peter from Thalia Capos and Picks here with another Master the Keys uh, adventure. Today we're tackling the key of D. Now the Master the Keys series is a way to increase your chordal vocabulary. What we're doing is taking a four chord progression and playing it a bunch of different ways uh, so that you can learn how to play different chords that feel good to your hand, that sound good to your ear, and you can have more fun and be free to make new music and exciting things that are uh, that are fun for you. That's the whole point, the reason we're doing this. Uh, so today in the key of D. Now if you've just been learning guitar or you've been playing for a while, uh, these are probably the standard shapes that you know, and all the charts to these chords can be found in a link down in the description and uh, you can follow along uh, with those. So here are the, the standard set, the first uh, variation of the key of D that I would like to show you and on which the rest of the variations are based. And here's the D that we all know. And the G. And a B minor. and an A. And those are the four chords that we're going to be using. And this, you put them together and this is what it sounds like. Okay, I'm going to show you the second set, which I call the simple set, uh, because your hand doesn't move much and it's easier to play. Um, I, I don't like cheating necessarily, but I do like finding the easiest way to do something. So in the key of D, I think this is the easiest way to play those four chords, and this is what I do most of the time. Uh, the first chord's a D, it looks like this. Now you notice Every time I play D, um, I'm using my thumb to dampen the two lowest strings so they're not ringing out and creating this you know, earthquake of nauseating sound down at the bottom. It's a really clean, tight sound when I'm muting uh, the lower two strings with my thumb. Um, and in this D, this particular D, I'm also muting the high E string with the uh, fleshy part of my ring finger right there. I'm lightly touching it and it mutes it. So it gets this really clean, simple D. All right, the next chord is a G with a, a, the second or an A uh, in the chord. It looks like this. Third chord is a B minor. and an A. Suspended, lift up your ring finger. Oh, that's nice. And you put those four together, and it sounds like this. Very clean, very simple. That's why I call it the simple set. Uh, the next set I want to show you, the third set, I call a color set because it has some very colorful chord voicings with notes that are close together and uh, create some really cool tension that's sometimes resolved, sometimes not. Music is all about tension and release. You know, you come to a point in music where it just needs to go somewhere. Um, and that's what makes music so amazing, is it takes us through this experience, even if you're not aware of it, it's messing with your mind a little bit. And so the, these color sets that I have in each of these keys are really designed to, to make you want it to go somewhere. And that's, that's the whole point. Um, so this is the color set in D. The first chord is a D, it looks like this. Then a G major 7 that looks like this. Mm. Very nice. 
then a B minor seven that looks like this. And then an A9 that looks like this. You put them together, it goes like this. Alright, the last set, the fourth set, I call the jazzy set because it's full of some nice jazzy sounding chords. Looks like this. Here's a D major 7. Something that's fun to do with this chord since you're using all one finger, you can hammer on up to the fifth fret. Sounds really cool. For fun. The next chord is a G major 9, and you leave your uh, first finger barring there and uh, fill out the rest of the chord. Then a B minor with an 11, so you leave the E string open for that 11. And then A7 with a, a suspension that you can resolve by moving your ring finger down. But the suspension looks like this. So all together it sounds like this. Well, there you go. Four ways to play the same four chord progression. I hope you learned something. And if you didn't, please come teach me something. Um, I, I love learning new stuff. So drop us a line. Let us know uh, other ways that you like playing in the key of D. And remember, these can totally be swapped around, switch it, mix and match. Find something that works for you that you like, that's comfortable, that sounds good. Uh, create something new. That's what this whole exercise, this whole series is about. So I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Peace.